Good morning, one and all. And I would like to welcome you all on behalf of His Petrolus University once again to the virtual seminar week. And uh, first of all, we'll be starting with a video. Yes. Let's take a tour around Isbat University, a chartered university licensed and accredited by the Ugandan National Council for Higher Education. Isbat is currently a home for over 2,000 students and 10,000 alumni from all corners of the world. Isbat University highly prioritizes outcome-based learning experience through her state-of-the-art infrastructure facilities including multimedia labs, high-tech ICT labs, cybersecurity and forensics lab, engineering labs, science labs, and extensive library with both physical and digital publications. Isbat University is endowed with a modern metropolitan campus in the heart of Kampala City, with free Wi-Fi connection, special student lounge and cafeteria, executive classrooms, and practical labs accommodating the best learning ambience. Enroll for niche programs in any of the following faculties, including information and communication technology, business and commerce, engineering, public health and health sciences, graduate or master's programs, and pre-university or higher education programs. All available on our campus learning as well as the hybrid blended learning platform. Contact us today via our website at www.isbatuniversity.sc.ug or visit our campus at Lugogo Bypass, Kampala. Isbat University, empowering lives. Okay, welcome back. And uh, I'm just going to introduce you about the virtual seminar week. And uh, next slide. You can go to the next slide. It's not going from here. Okay. And uh, we had a seminar yesterday about uh, we had a seminar yesterday about how to use systematic approach in selecting your career. And uh, I, I was conducting this uh, seminar uh, about uh, how to select your career based on systematic approach, like psychometric assessment and uh, finding out your skills, aptitude, motivations, and everything. And uh, Today, we're going to have a session by uh, Dr. Tagi, which is the number one reason for selecting engineering as a profession. Uh, I would say many of us have this aspiration for uh, uh, selecting engineering, right? But we have this confusion whether engineering is the right career. So what happens is uh, this uh, seminar will empower you to know about uh, uh, why you should select engineering as a profession. Okay. It will clear all your confusions regarding the uh, career selection. If, if you have been confused about uh, whether I could go for engineering, okay. this would be solving all your confusion. And it's been, it will be conducted by Dr. Tyagi Weiber Bushin, who is an expertise in electronics engineering. And he has a lot of uh, uh, affiliations in, uh, he has worked in different countries and he's an expertise. And he'll be guiding you through this program today. And uh, tomorrow, we will be having the session, which is how universities can create entrepreneurs um, by Mr. Samantha Ronald, who is a faculty of uh, business. And uh, this session is somewhat very interesting. It's, it's going to be very interesting because uh, many of us have this aspiration of uh, uh, being an entrepreneur, but there's a mental block, whether uh, we could be an entrepreneur really, what are the challenges in becoming an entrepreneur? So what happens is this uh, session is going to guide you through uh, this uh, uh, ambiguity. It will solve this ambiguity and make you clear. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you will have a clear vision. OK, I'm going to be an entrepreneur tomorrow, uh, in, the, in the future. So this is going to be that session. Okay. And uh, after this, uh, next session uh, will be on 16th, uh, which, uh, which falls on uh, 16th of, uh, 16th of September, 
and uh, which was on Thursday. This is about uh, five secret of uh, building a cohesive team. Uh, you would be asking me, what is the need for this uh, seminar uh, for us? What, how would be it would be beneficial? Uh, you know, this team building or team working as a team is vital for any kind of a job, even as a student. If you are a student, you are still going to work as a team with your with your fellow students and friends. So what happens is this seminar is going to create that uh, team spirit, team awareness, why you should work as a team in any kind of endeavors. Okay. And uh, this will be conducted by Mr. Kawuki James Stephen, and he is our faculty of business. Okay. And the last session, uh, it will be on Friday, um, 17th of September, is about programming. Uh, many aspirants, many students, uh, when we think of IT, we think of programming, right? So programming uh, is an integral part of uh, being an IT professional. And uh, the most important uh, problem which I've, uh, which I've found is many of the IT students is uh, whether would they be able to do programming efficiently. And uh, we have this mental block about programming. Uh, whether I'd be successful in programming, what are the prerequisites of programming? What, 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 kind of, what kind of skills do I need to be a successful programmer? Okay, so this seminar is clear, is going to clear all your doubts about being a successful programmer. So if you are interested in IT, please attend this seminar. It's going to change your perception of programming. So this is what uh, it is. And uh, I would also say something here. Uh, we are planning for giving bursaries for students, for benefits of students. And I would request uh, all of you to please visit the university and come here and visit us and uh, meet the uh, people and you get an idea about this uh, bursary. Uh, and uh, please don't miss this opportunity. This is what I want to suggest to you. So to back to the session, Today is going to be uh, a session by uh, Dr. Tyagi Vaibhapushin about uh, the number one reason for selecting engineering as a profession. And I would like to welcome Dr. Tyagi Vaibhapushin to, to start the session. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Number one, number one. That's it. That's that's it. Right, left, right, right. Yeah, last. Thank you, Dr. Vivek, for introducing me. Uh, I, Dr. Tyagi, working as a Dean FICT, acting, and Associate Professor in Electronics and Communication Engineering at Isbat University. Now, I would like to welcome you all in our second lecture of our virtual seminar series organized by Isbat University. So our today's topic of learning is the number one reason why we are selecting engineering as a profession. So we are going to uh, make the flow of discussion as like, first of all, yeah, we will discuss about what is engineering. Then we will discuss about what does an engineer do. The different fields of engineering that are available in market nowadays. And then 
how to make the choice of an engineering stream. Then we will discuss something about the SBAT, glorious achievements and available engineering streams. The departments of EC and career opportunities after BEC. The department of BSc and the career opportunities after BSc. And we have a brief introduction about the realistic learning environment, which we are using at Isbat University to penetrate the concept in the mind of students. So let us start with our flow. The first one is what is an engineering? Engineering is basically the application of science and maths to solve problems. Engineers figure out how things work and find practical uses for scientific discoveries. There are a lot of definitions available for engineers and engineering. Scientists and inventors often get the credit for innovations that advance the human condition, but it is an engineer who are the instrumental in making those innovations available to the world. In his book, Disturbing the Universe, Solent Foundation 1981, the physicist Freeman Dyson wrote, a good scientist is a person with the original ideas. A good engineer is a person who makes a design that works with a few original ideas as possible. Engineering is one of the cornerstones of STEM education, an interdisciplinary curriculum designed to motivate students to learn about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Then the question arises, what does an engineer do? Engineers, they design, evaluate, develop, test, modify, install, inspect, and maintain a wide variety of products and systems. They also recommend and simplify materials and processes, supervise manufacturing and construction, conduct failure analysis, provide consulting services, and teach engineering courses in colleges and universities. Then, what are the different fields of engineering that are available? Let us have a look over it. The field of engineering is divided into a large number of specialty areas. First one, we will see a brief about the mechanical engineering. It involves design, manufacturing, inspection, and maintenance of machinery, equipment and component, as well as control systems and instruments for monitoring their status and performance. This includes vehicles, construction, and farm machinery industrial installations, and a wide variety of tools and devices. Then we have the core class of engineering that is called the electrical engineering. It involves design, testing, manufacturing, construction, control, monitoring, and inspection of electrical and electronic devices, machinery and systems, these systems vary in scale from a microscopic circuits to the national power generation and transmission systems. The civil engineering, it involves design, construction, maintenance, and inspection of large infrastructure projects such as highways, railroads, bridges, tunnels, dams, and airport. So this is the brief about the civil engineering. Then we have the another class of engineering branch that is called as aerospace engineering. Aerospace engineering involves the design, manufacturing, testing of aircraft and spacecraft, as well as parts and components such as airframes, power plants, 
control and guidance systems, electrical and electronic systems, and communication and navigation systems. So this is also a very interesting branch of engineering. Then we have another branch of engineering that is called as the nuclear engineering. It involves design, manufacturing, construction, operation and testing of equipments, systems and processes involving the production, control and detection of nuclear radiation. These systems include particle accelerators and nuclear reactors for electric power plants and ships. Nuclear engineering also provides monitoring and protecting humans from potentially harmful effect of the radiation. Then we have the structural engineering. So structural engineering involves design, construction and inspection of load bearing structures such as commercial buildings, bridges and industrial infrastructures. Then biomedical engineering is the practice of designing systems, equipments and devices for the use in the practice of medicine. It also involves working closely with the medical practitioner, including doctors, nurses, technicians, therapists, and researchers in order to determine, understand, and meet their requirements for system, equipment, and devices. Then we have the chemical engineering. So the chemical engineering is the practice of designing equipment, systems, and processes for refining raw materials and for mixing compound, compounding and processing chemicals to make valuable products. And last, we all aware about that nowadays it is booming. That is called the computer engineering. It is the practice of designing computer hardware components, computer systems, networks, and computer softwares. Then we have last two more, the industrial engineering. It is the practice of designing and optimizing facilities, equipments, systems, and processes for manufacturing, material processing, and any number of other work environments, environmental engineering. It is the practice of preventing, reducing, and eliminating source, sources of pollution that affect air, water, and land. It also involves detecting and measuring pollution levels, determining sources of pollution, cleaning up and rehabilitate polluted sites and ensuring compliance with local, state, and federal regulations. Then finally, we can say particularly engineers require in-depth knowledge of mathematics, physics, and computer applications such as simulations and computer-aided design. This is why most college programs, they include basic engineering courses in a wide range of topics before students to choose a specialization in a particular areas. Then we are going to discuss the very important fact, <coughs> how to make the choice of an engineering stream. That is the most important question that is coming into the mind of young aspirants who are finishing their senior six and as well as in their parents' mind. So how to make the choice of an engineering stream? There are some thumb rules to be followed in choosing an engineering education. The interest of the candidate and his her choice of branch should be the criteria for admission. Every parent should orient the child towards finding out their natural interest and the aptitude for the particular subject or branch of the study. 
for a strong willed person it is if the choice is made based on his or her liking and natural taste then studying that branch will be the best thing rather than joining other branch for whatever reason so it is not wise to join a branch of study because it is popular or because the job opportunities are high the choice of institution is also very critical then the other option is for students is to take the branch of study available in a reputed college or university and start liking that branch now we will discuss something about the ispat glorious achievements and available engineering streams at ispat university ispat university has been awarded charter status by the ugandan national council for higher education and now has carved a niche for itself among the best universities in uganda we believe in a diverse range of personnel to bring creative skills thoughts and ideas to the table right now we have two streams available at our ispat university first let me introduce you about the bachelor of engineering in electronics and communication stream the department of ec that grooms the students to excel in the field of technology our students are trained in both software and hardware skills and basic inputs are provided to make them self confident to work in industry <coughs> and get an arrangement encouragement for higher studies and research the department's motto is to upgrade skills and knowledge of the young engineers to enable them not only to survive but be the best in the present competitive world the department has qualified and dedicated faculty members to provide good technical support to all the students the department of ece has a vision to become a center of excellence in the field of electronics and communication engineering all our faculty faculty and students are dedicated to achieve this goal with full vigor enthusiasm and good ethical values now we will discuss something about what are the career opportunities which we are uh, providing to our students after the completion of the program so during the course the students get exposure to diverse field of electronics and communication engineering subsequently acquiring their knowledge and skills absorbed by them they can be get an opportunity to get placed in any core industries associated with electronics and communication engineering field so there are some examples in which our young engineers can get a placement so they can be get absorbed by electronic circuit designing field signal processing field wireless communication field optical communication field robotics embedded system telecommunications then power electronics consumer electronics solid state physics control engineering field vlsi defense nanotechnology and mobile computing so what should you expect from a degree in bec as at ispat university
you will get an exposure to a competitive environment get opportunity to interact with research oriented faculty get the opportunity for a student exchange program at global academic institutions opportunity to participate in seminars projects at national and international levels summer internships clubs and different events get opportunity for the placement in good companies as well now let us have a look over the second stream what is available here under the faculty of engineering yeah so department of bachelor of science in computer engineering and career opportunities after completion of the degree program the department that aims to be the center of excellence in providing international standard education and consultation in the field of computer science and engineering thus targets to produce globally competent and self disciplined computer engineers with rapidly evolving technology and continuous need for innovation the department has always produced quality professionals now let us have a have a look over the career opportunities which an computer science engineer will get after the degree program it may be absorbed as a data scientist software developer web developer web designer cloud architect cloud consultant mobile app developer it may be android or ios front end developer blockchain developers then security specialist it manager software application architect software consultant hardware engineer system developer engineer starting a new venture cyber security expert software engineers and system analysts then <clears throat> what should you expect from a degree in bs ce at isbat university it may be the campus placement at top technology companies acquiring strong technical skills those leads to make employable and self independent the strong communication skills acquire the skills for entrepreneurship be a good engineer with ethical values conductive growth in academia and technology for higher education from abroad to apply technical skills to solve the problem of society to build the career as web developer and data scientist so that is how an introduction introduction about the the streams that are available at isbat university right now we have two batches they are passed out and our management is kind enough to get them placement in top level companies now we will see a brief introduction to the realistic environment which we are following while teaching at isbat university let me give you some brief and very precise examples so you all are senior six students in your earlier classes you definitely studied about a law that is called the ohms law everyone of us knows about the law now first i will state that law then we will see how we are understanding each and every concept in depth by using the practical knowledge and by reaching those concepts to the practical 
problem solving positions so what is the ohms law basically the ohms law that states that a current i in a resistor is proportional to the potential difference that is termed as capital v across it so you can assume that resistor is like a component we are going to apply the amount of the potential over the terminals of the resistor right and we are going to increase that potential so if you are going to increase the amount of the potential subsequently the amount of the current that is flowing through the resistor is also going to increase so there is a linear relationship or a proportional relationship between the applied voltage and the amount of the current which we are getting as incremental values right so v should be defined as the proportional factor of i or if we will reduce or if we will remove the proportionality constant we have to introduce a constant that is called the resistance r so r will be given by v divided by i so that is in general the ohms law is the conclusion is in a resistor when we are increasing the amount of the potential we are getting the incremental amount of current now we will see it practically yeah one more thing uh, while making the proportionality constant we have to assume that we are talking about a constant temperature because the temperature variations may change the value of the resistance that is offered by the resistor let's see so we are taking few examples and we are taking you to the virtual laboratory and we will feel the realisticity of this concept yeah as <clears throat> well this can be mouse yeah so as i told you in a ohms law this is a resistor okay we are going to apply the voltage across the resistor now from our basic understanding we knows that the potential will be measured by the voltmeter and the current in the circuit is measured by the ammeter right the potential the the voltmeter will be always connected in parallel and the ammeter will always connected in series now what we have to do to understand the basic relationship between the voltage and the current that is passing through this resistor just set the value of resistor to some value say i have selected is as 50 right so 50 the unit of resistor is in kilo ohms right so it is maybe selected as 50 kilo ohm constant value now what we have to do we have to make changes in the dc voltage which we are applying right so let us have a first value you you can see the deflection through this meter the movement of this needle so suppose i have increased the value of voltage and i have applied 1 volt across this resistor so count this value of the current that is flowing through this resistor that is in amperes okay just note down this add to table right so then select the new value of voltage just make it 2 make it 2 yeah so that you can see the value of current is also increasing just add to the table in that manner just take the ten readings around then we will see that how the relation between the voltage and the current exists so let me select one more reading 3 volt note the deflection in the ammeter current add to the table then again 
change it note down the reading 5 volt and corresponding current values add to the table so whatever we are applying 1 2 3 4 and 5 voltages and these are what these are the corresponding value of currents which are passing through the resistor okay like that these are four readings now let us let me take some more readings add to the table you can see the changes in the values of current you can observe the deflection through this meter then add to the table so fine now we have around uh, 10 observations okay our basic law states that when we are applying the amount of the voltage the value of the current is going to increase now we can understand by the plot okay so let me click over the plot here after selecting all the values of voltages and currents corresponding current values we have add them in a table then just click on the plot the plot should be a linear it should it should be a linear function between the voltage and the current values so just click over the plot now this is what this is the voltage versus current plot you can observe for the incremental values of voltage right 0 volt 5 volt 10 volt 15 volt up to 20 volt if you will take some more values of voltage the value of the current is also going to increase right so you can observe initially it was 0 0.05 0 0.01 0 0.015 0 0.2 like that so it shows a linear relationship between the value of voltage and the current so that is how we are digging out each and every engineering concept by means of simulations, by means of hardware that are available. Our laboratories are well equipped with the, with the equipments. We have plenty of hardware equipments in which you can go through and perform your experiments as well as if you are getting good concepts. So you can also try something new from your side. We are giving the opportunity to our students to make some innovations every time. Our faculties and our staffs are supporting enough and they will give them full support as well as our management is very kind enough to provide them all the facilities which they want to do some kind of innovation and research. So, in that manner, uh, number one, yeah, number one, number one, three, yeah, <clears throat> Yeah, so that was the discussion I was having with you. Like, uh, these are the links uh, up next. So these are the links of virtual laboratories. Even the simulation softwares are available uh, at our virtual cloud platform. You can even access them at any time. They are available and you can get the realistic experience of all the concepts by implementing those those components and uh, and you can go through the uh, the basic concepts in a well manner the next so example already we have taken uh, then okay these are the uh, some screenshots which i have already demonstrated to you then that is the ohm's law okay the next uh, this is the plot which shows between the variations of the current values with the applied voltage values. The next, okay, this, this one is the Ohm's law if the resistors are connected in series. You know that there is a combination of resistors as well. They may be connected in series or they may be connected in parallel. This is one more example. 
when the registers they are connected in series so yeah so for series connection also we will get the the linear plot between the voltage and the current values why because in series the resistances are going to add on so the the curve that shows the linear relationship between the voltage and the current values then next these are the uh, now we are entering into the qa session and this is query session this is the basic flair of our bachelor of engineering in electronics and communication stream and you are happy to know that uh, you are going to join our international multicultural environment with students from over 20 countries 20 nationalities students are available at our campus right now so you can contact for more details and this is the flair for our bachelor of science and in computer engineering program then in case if you have any query You have any query related to the course contents or or admission kindly contact us on the following email ids or the whatsapp numbers so info at the rate is that university.com or the whatsapp number you can follow is 07582375525 so i wish you all the best of luck and hope to see you at ispat university Thank you. Thank you so much.